Hey team, this is Richard, founder of Short Term Rental University and Airbnb Superhost. Charles and I are on our way to golf and we had a conversation and I thought, this is perfect, we have to share it, let's make a video. So the point of this video is that the market is the market. I don't care how smart you are, I don't care how experienced you are, I don't care what your model says, I don't care what you thought or what the broker said, the market is the market. The reason that Charles and I were talking about this is we were talking about a friend of ours who's listed a property for sale um, and he did so back in November, it's now June, so that's six, seven months ago, and he has had no bids. And I said to him, listen, the market is speaking to you, you got to lower your price. And he said, well, you know, I'm already prepared to lose $10,000 at the price I've listed it, and I don't want to lose anymore. I can't lose anymore. And it reminded me of a situation. I've really had one bad real estate investment so bad that I still own it. Um, I can't get out of it. And I've tried a variety of different things. And the biggest lesson I learned there was that I didn't lower the price fast enough. I thought that all the renovations that I had done would make the property worth more. I thought that the market would turn around. I thought that we just needed the right buyer. I had all these beliefs and concepts. And you know, at the end of the day, I was just wrong. The market is right. The market is the market. So by way of example, this property, I've already lowered the price almost by seven figures and it still has no bid. Um, and I'm below the few bids that I did get. At the time, the bids were maybe a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars below ask and I didn't consider them. So if you have the ability to make the decision entirely yourself, listen to the market. Lower the price. If you want to get out from something, get out. Just exit because you could fit, you could sit on a much bigger loss. Charles, there's all sorts of construction here, enhancement, but you also do see, just look at this landscape and all these greens and everything. As I mentioned, Charles and I are on our way to go golfing. We were talking about this friend. I encouraged him to lower the price. He's resistant to do so. And what I fear is that the market could soften or correct or go into a downturn, which is what happened with my property. And then he could be stuck on it. And you could take a $10,000 loss and turn it into a $100,000 loss or $200,000 loss. And that's just terrible. That's game changing. So take a small loss. That's one of the things we learned when we were market making and trading. A small loss sometimes is a, your best trade. You can sit there, you can hold, you can wait for things to turn around, you could be totally wrong, and you could magnify a small loss into a huge loss, and that's what blows hedge funds up, that's what blows traders up, that's what blows businesses up, is poor risk control. So, if you know you want out, get out. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the video. Charles, we're taking a turn right here into the Snake River Sporting Club over this beautiful red bridge and we are about to do some great things in the Wild West. I love this bridge, it's so beautiful. All right guys, have a great day.